In this video, we are going to discuss about the hexadecimal number system. So let's see what a hexadecimal number system is. Hexadecimal number system has got 16 digits, 0 to 9, but then that makes only 10 digits. What about the 11th? A to F. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that makes it 10 and then A, B, C, D, E. So that is how we come to hexadecimal number system where A is equal to 10, B is equal to 11 and so on till F is equal to 15. Again hexadecimal number system is a positional value system. What does that mean? That the value of any digit will depend upon its position. As there are 16 digits, the value will be calculated 16 to the power of the position. Again, I will start from the rightmost place and it will be 16 to the power of 0, then 16 to the power of 1 and it will proceed similarly to whatever is the last digit. Let's take an example of a hexadecimal number and see how it can be easily converted to a decimal number system. I have a number here 27 FB to the base of 16. As you can see, B has a position of 0 here, F has a position of 1, 7 has a position of 2 and the number 2 has a position of 3. So how it will convert? 2 into 16 to the power of 3, 7 into 16 to the power of 2, I have F, F is equivalent to 15. So it will be 15 into 16 to the power of 1. Similarly, 10 into 16 to the power of 0. When I calculate, I get 10,234 to the base of 10. So in this video, we have seen how we can work with the hexadecimal number system. In the last few videos, we have discussed about the different number systems, decimal, octal, binary and hexadecimal. In the next video, we will see that how these four number systems compare with each other.